Aloha. My name is Austin Kino. Um, I'm an Olukai ambassador here on the island of Oahu. Um, right here behind me is our Olukai sailing canoe that we run with a nonprofit I am uh, partnering called Huli. We provide environmental education uh, opportunities to students and community here on the on the South Shore. Um, I'm also a volunteer with the Polynesian Voyaging Society and a crew member aboard the Hokulea. So mahalo Olukai for having me today here on Anywhere Aloha Friday. We'd like to teach all of you there at home some of the knots um, that we use here on Uluvehi and out on Hokulea every day. So we're gonna learn two knots today. We're gonna learn how to do a clove hitch. And at the end, we're gonna try and see if we can get through learning a bowline knot. Okay, let's get started. All right, so the first knot we're gonna learn today is our clove hitch. So traditionally, we like to use this knot to secure any kind of line if we need to hang it up when we're not using it. So you make sure you kind of have a long enough tail, okay? So we're real easy, we're gonna do it right on here as if we're hanging our line. So first thing you do is go over, and then you make an X, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bitter end of that line and we're just gonna repeat our X underneath, okay? Right underneath, and we're gonna pull, okay? Now you have your X from both sides and this can loosen this way, or if we wanna tighten and secure the line, you can pull opposite and it'll make tension against itself. This is our clove hitch. This is our clove hitch. Okay, so the next knot we're gonna to learn today is our bowlin. So this knot we use a lot because no matter how much tension you put into it, you're able to quickly turn it over and release it. So the first step you gotta do is make a loop. Now, when you're making this loop, you wanna make sure that the side closest to your bitter end is on top, right? Not like this, so it's on top, okay? Once you have that loop, you're gonna take your bitter end, go underneath from the bottom of your loop, go around the non-bitter end side, and back into our loop, like this, okay? You can tell it's a bowlin because no matter how hard you pull, how much tension puts on it, all you gotta do is turn it over and you can do what's called breaking the knot to be able to take it out, okay? So one more time, I'll show you real quickly. So you make a loop, make sure that the side closest to the bitter end is on top, go underneath, around, and back in and pull together, okay? So this knot can be used by itself or if you need to go around something, right? If I need to tie around this, same thing. Make your loop underneath, around, and in. Now I could use this knot to secure the canoe or the va to something else. And no matter how hard I pulled on it, whenever I need to go and untie it, turn it over, break the knot, okay? That is our bowling knot. All right, thank you guys for listening in today. We got to learn our clove hitch and our bowling knot. So hopefully you can find somewhere um, out in the water or even on your truck around the house where you can put these knots into play. Um, I wanna mahalo olukai for having me today and um, yeah, get out there, aloha.